Hello UiPath experts, welcome to the UiPath.learner channel. Thank you very much for subscribing my channel. So today we will see about the entry questions, few entry questions. So here is a, the common entry questions you know, right? So what is the common entry questions? There is a common entry questions. What is the difference between the Excel activities, uh, Excel, uh, under Excel activities and workbook activities, okay? Uh, that is a commonly people ask the what is the difference between the excel activities and the workbook activities the workbook activities is like a uh, the act if you use a workbook activities the the system should have a should not even though there's a, no office installed ms office installed in your system if you use a workbook activities it will work but the excel activities it won't work if you don't have a excel of, of software in, installed into your system got it that's the one thing. The other thing is like, a, so if you use a Excel activities, so even though Excel is open on that particular time, so in the same time, bot is also using the same Excel, so it won't show any error. It won't throw any error, even though parallel the human is working in the same Excel and the bot is also working in the same Excel, it will possible by using the Excel activities, not workbook activities. So in, if you use a workbook activities in the same scenario, it will throw error. So the process is used by someone else just this kind of error it will throw okay it won't work if the excel is opened by someone else okay so the next thing is like a um uh, every activity in the excel application excel you have to depend on the excel application scope it won't work so without excel application scope this is a independent dependent on the excel application scope because we are using the excel path so in the excel application scope so but the workbook activities is a independent so it will work uh, that mean independent every activity you have to give the path of the excel the next one is like a so if you apply the formulas so the formulas perfect thing is excel application scope excel activities uh, just use a write range activity write right write text activity write cell activity huh? so write cell activities you can just pass the range from the c to d d, d, d to do d10 like that you can apply the formula so this apply a formula supply properly properly in the sense suppose for example so if you have a in the c column if you apply the a1 equal to equal to a1 into b1 okay so you apply the same thing a1 in, in, into b1 into the c22 c20 so if you use the workbook activities for the all the things it will calculate only the a1 to a1 into b1 but but if you use the excel activities it will apply the a1 to b1 for the first uh, first record a2 to b2 c2 to b2 right c2 into b2 c3 into b3 a3 into b3 a4 into b4 a5 into b5 got it so how we are just uh, just drag and drop automatically it will increment right in the same way if you use the excel application scope activities so work right cell these things and all else it will work so formula supplying it's a better i think it's a good actually so another thing is a common what is a common question the common question in is like yes what is the difference between the re uh, um, element exist and find element this is a common question so what is the difference between the element exist and find element okay so if you use the element exist element exist is used to whether you have to check so whether the element is existed on the screen or not if element is existed it will return the true if it is not it will return the false element exist activity return the false even though element is not exist in the screen but it will wait up to 30 seconds that is a default timeout so if you increase or decrease you can do that one there's a milliseconds it will accept okay so what is the output of the element exist element exist output is a boolean value find element will wait up to the element is uh, appear under the screen but it will wait up to that particular timeout okay after the timeout reaches if the element is not appear under the screen it will return the it will throw exception okay the output of the find element activity is a ui element object okay? you can use that ui element object for the further use it may be a type into in the type into or click activity anything you can use okay so one difference is like a so the outputs of both okay the output of the element exists is the boolean the output of the find element is the ui element object okay so the next thing is like a so if 
if the element is not appear even the timeout is happens after after timeout also it will return the false value if you use the element exist it will throw the exception if you use the find element okay um so that is the thing so suppose for example so in which real real time scenario real time scenario how you can use these two uh suppose based on the condition suppose for example if this element appears so we have to do something else if this element is a the, the, this element is not appear we have to do different things right so in that case you can use the element exists so it will return the true or false you can use the if condition and uh, so go for the two different uh, branches find element is like a find element is used to once you click on the login buttons it will wait up to that element or home screen appear on the screen right so that's that in the place you can use a find element and also not only that so you can use a anchor base in the anchor base you can use the left side the anchor is a like a find element so for example if you are not able to you, if you have a multiple elements having the same kind of selector so so for example first name text box last name text box the text boxes selectors are same there is no properties are unique for these two text boxes if you want to identify that case you are using the anchor base okay anchor base activity in the anchor base there is two parts one is a finding that element the the anchor element okay so first name is a label last name is a label first name text box right so first name is a label so here you are using the find element activity to find the first name label and the corresponding text box you can use the type into activity or anything so in the next part of the uh, anchor base okay in the same way last name label and last name text box okay so using the anchor base so in the anchor base is mainly used for that so if you are having the lot of uh, multiple more than one uh elements having the same type of selector that means same type of attributes same type of values everything is the same then you have to use the anchor base so that is a uh, for this thing okay so let us see in the next video thank you very much bye bye